Here at Disney Studios, some interesting experimentation is taking place with computer animation. After setting the trend with Tron, animators turn their efforts to a test based on a classic book by author Maurice Sendak called Where the Wild Things Are. The object was to make the backgrounds with the computer and incorporate classic, hand-drawn Disney character animation with those backgrounds. In this way, squash and stretch, the elements of elasticity that make Disney character animation stand out from all the rest, wouldn't be lost. What they can't do these days. In hand-drawn animation, the next step after the storyboard has been completed is the pencil test, a rough pencil drawing to show the action. In computer animation, that step still occurs. It's called the vector test. This is the vector test for where the wild things are, which Magi Synthavision did for Disney Studios. Once the vector test is approved, the real work begins. Each piece of vector animation must be modeled and shaped. In this case, the characters were painted by computer. The whole process is like stretching a layer of skin over a wire mesh frame. Now, let's take a look at the test for Maurice Sendak's Where the Wild Things Are, which was directed by John Lasseter.